Let's see if I can find a, um, these are pretty neat. Most visitors don't venture upstairs to the archives at the New England Air Museum. Yeah, this is a JT3. But then again, Marty and Ross isn't does, most visitors. There's a twin wasp overhaul manual in there. Working with volunteer Charles Smokey Stover, the UTC Aerospace Systems Project Engineer is looking for a specific set of plans. Is that the 1340? This is the 1340. Marty is fascinated by Frederick Rentschler's WASP engine. He really wanted to develop the air-cooled engine. So much so, in fact, Marty has been working on getting the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or ASME, to designate the R-1340 as an engineering landmark. He succeeded. When we look at this uh, as engineers, they, re they raise the bar, they reset the bar. And the innovation was in using a one-piece master rod. Marty Ross worked with Craig McBurney on researching the finer points of the company's first dependable engine. They were the geniuses of their day. Craig has skillfully rebuilt many WASP engines. Some of his mechanical artwork is found at the World War II Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana, while the entire machine is fascinating. So it's a real testament to their ability to design and think ahead. Both Craig... But a lot of the innovation was right there. ...and Marty agreed there were two designs that really made the engine a mechanical marvel. My favorite part of this engine is the master rod crankshaft combination. It's the heart of the engine, and it's what made this engine so successful. George and me to say they designed the crankcases so that they were identical halves. A great thought because they were thinking about, you know, manufacturability uh, early on. And, and a more manufacturable part is a more reliable part. The WASP joined select company. ASME has only selected 260 other landmarks around the world. So this is a, uh, an example of a variable pitch propeller. Like Hamilton Standard's hydromatic propeller. This latest honor shows how originality was and remains at the heart of Pratt & Whitney. Thinking about things differently, not accepting what's status quo from an engineering point of view, and then coming up with something that's tremendously innovative for the time um, is really a, a lasting symbol of what makes Pratt & Whitney great. It's really what's in an engineer's head that, that makes the real difference. Computers are said to be great breakthroughs and so on, and they certainly are, and they speed things up, but you still need that that spark of genius that uh, comes from hardworking, inspired mechanical engineer. Okay, well, let's see if the, uh, look at what we were. Okay. Marty Ross isn't lost in this seemingly endless boxed world of records. You know, a lot more horsepower uh, yeah. for the given weight. He belongs in it. The story of dependability is found here. The foundation for aviation is learned here. The cylinders, you count the cooling fins. And for an engineer, what better machine than the WASP to learn how something was designed, how it was built, and why it has lasted? I think really what I like about the story is that it really um, made civil aviation possible. Because of the reliability of the engine, uh, Boeing um, designed the Model 247 around the Pratt WASP. And it was because of that reliability of the engine, um, they uh, actually said, you know, we see a business case um, for civil aviation here. People really need to know that story.